Okay, it's Thursday's Hallmark. It's the uh, end of the week. Here's what we got. And we have three problems. Uh, one, we are taking a, um, a fraction and turning it to a decimal. In the second one, we're looking at probability. And in the third one, we're looking at building an equation. Okay, so in, the, in uh, number 12, they are saying, uh, what is 1 11th as a decimal? Now, we, we talked about uh, in class, and you should know from your elementary days, that to change a, a fraction to a decimal, you are going to divide the um, numerator divided by the denominator, because we know that a fraction is really a division problem. It is one out of 11, okay? So it's one divided by 11. So that would look like one divided by 11. And so that's what you would need to do. That's how you'd set up the division problem, okay? So you need to go ahead and you need to, to uh, follow through with that division and, um, and find the answer. Remember that when you're, um, when you're dividing, and you have a decimal, you need to make sure to put that decimal point up on that division bracket, okay? Then it disappears, it's gone. And so now you're going to add some more zeros and you're gonna divide through. Okay, so that would be number 12. Number 13 is probability and they're saying, so how many, what is the best chance if you have those, if you have those, if I, if I have those letters, what's the best chance of me picking an A? So I'm, I'm looking at them and I'm, I'm looking at <clears throat> the probability. First thing I'm going to look at is how many, how many are they total? I want the total amount. Okay. So how many do I have total? And out of that total, how many are A's, okay? How many are what I'm looking for? How many A's are there out of the total? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make fractions. So in, in the first one, it would be one out of six. I have one A, I have one, two, oh, oh, one out of five, sorry, one out of five, one out of five. Okay, so I have five there and one is an A. In the next one, I have two A's, two A's. And that is out of five also. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna count so I don't make another mistake because you know I can make mistakes. Okay, in the next one, I'm looking and I have an A here and I have an A here and I have an A here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I do have six in this one, so I have three out of six. There we go. In the next one, I have one, two, three, four, four out of six. Now, what I would need to do is I would need to say which of these is greatest, which is the greatest fraction, which is the greatest right? Because that greatest gives me the most chance of getting an A. Where do I have the most chance? In the first one, I have one out of five chances. In the second one, I have two out of five chances. In the third one, I have three out of six. And in the last one, I have four out of six. So which one is the greatest fact, uh, the greatest fraction? Where do I have that? Number 14 now is a little bit different. And so I, I'm going to do this uh, by uh, drawing a picture. I, I think this would be the best thing. So they want to know how many seeds are in the box. So B is box, P is packet, and S is seeds. Okay, so you know that when you go to the store, you're going to, you're looking for seeds. Here's my seed. I have a little seed. Okay, so I have seeds. I have, I'm getting seeds, and those seeds, they're in a packet. I have a packet, and on it would be the name of the, the seed. Say so maybe, I don't know, that, that looks like it could be, oh, I don't know. Let's do a pumpkin seed. 
Oh, I, I think the problem says we're going to do sunflowers because sunflower seeds is what they say. So we're going to say sunflower. That's a, this is a packet of sunflower seeds. And I'm, I, you know, I'll have more than one seed. I'll have other seeds and they're pretty big seeds. They're not, they're not tiny at all. So they're big seeds. And then in this, it says that, uh, the box, the box in the store, okay, has, uh, has several packets. It's got several packets. Okay. So I'm going to have more than one packet. I'm going to have a packet back here. Okay. I'm going to have a packet back here. I don't know how many packets I'm going to have, but I, I'm going to have a bunch of them and they're going to all have seeds. Okay. They're all going to have seeds in them. So in that box, okay, that box is going to be, is going to be equal to how many packets, some number of packets, right? That's how, that's, that's a box is so many packets and I'm going to have those packets. I'm going to have, uh, times the number of seeds. Okay. Cause I'm going to have these, if I have four seeds in this packet, and I have three packets, then in that whole box, I have 12. So if I have, I have these, um, these four seeds here, I have four seeds, okay? And I have three packets, I'm gonna have 12 seeds in that box. So you notice that I'm multiplying the packets by the seeds. And that is how you, I want you to look at the um, equations in 14 and decide which one looks like what we have done there. Okay, good job.